In this video, we're going to have a shaver and do an unboxing. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, let's get into it today. And let's start with the Shave Rich, which is Powerade Orange. And I actually got this for my mom to try to replenish her electrolytes during chemo, but she doesn't like it. She doesn't like a lot of Gatorade or... All right, so I figured I would try this one. She doesn't like it either, sadly. So we'll drink it. We'll drink it. Let's give it a, let's give it a little taste here. Nice, not bad at all. I don't mind it. Orange Power Aid. All right, let's get into the unboxing. And first, the the unboxing instrument is the SC Azula 2 fixed blade knife, which I like a lot. It has micarta scaled. Is it? It is a tremendous uh, fixed blade knife. And the next box is an order I got from Phoenix Shaving. And I want to remind you all of something, especially right now. This box shipped from Phoenix and went all the way to Charleston, West Virginia, and it never was scanned in between. So <laughs> actually, when I looked at the, the uh, tracking like three or four days later, it showed that the post office had never received this item. And that morning it was already arriving. It never got a, stand, a scan until it reached its destination post office. So be aware of that, folks. Right now, some of the scanning and tracking will be very, very much off kilter due to the holidays and just generally the post office just does this sometimes because it's not unusual for me to receive a package from uh, Phoenix in particular and it never gets a scan. It goes three quarters of the way across the country, 1,500, 2,000 miles and never gets a scan, <laughs> which it blows my mind, but what are you going to do? And if you look at that tracking, it looks as if the post office never, never even received it. It said um, a waiting item or um, shipping label created. So just keep that in mind, folks. And uh, don't assume the worst of the artisan. So let's get into the unboxing because I've babbled long enough about the the shipping situation or the tracking, I should say. Let's open her up and see what we have here. And, oops, sorry about the bowl. Making a lot of racket there. We have a nice little card here. And what does that say? Give the gift of an epic shave this holiday season. Promo card from PAA. You know, they always do a lot of these. And inside, first, is a soap which i ordered space nog a seasonal soap from pa and you know there's a lot of space going on at pa <laughs> so let's uh, give this one a first let's show you the soap and there's a look at it and let's uh give it a whiff the moment of truth nice i think that's very pleasant what do i get i absolutely don't know what i'm getting here but it sort of has a creamy vibe to it a little sweet maybe gourmandy it's supposed to be like i guess representative of uh, eggnog maybe some cinnamon in here i'm not exactly sure if i'm picking that up but it's nice it's a it's not a bad scent at all i do like it and i think i will appreciate it once again this is space nog and i like that scent on that that one's going to be a winner i do believe all right let's set that to the side and get out our next soap and this one I got because of uh, Nate, also known as Low Scent Skeletor, because he likes this one. Doesn't mean I'll like it. Maybe the scent is way too low for me, because you know Nate, he likes some low scents. <laughs> Sorry about that, Nate. I'm still joking about that. I apologize. This is Cider House 5, and it has a nice label there on it. And this is a fall scent, so we'll see what we think about it. Let's see if we like it. There's a look at the soap, if you're curious, and let's give it a whiff. That's actually not bad. I'm surprised. It definitely has a fall sort of vibe to it. I do pick up what I think are like leaves. Um, maybe, you know, leaves once they've fallen off the tree and they're brown. It definitely gives you that vibe of the leaves, apple cider sort of thing, light, light cider, a little bit of those leaves. It's an unusual scent to my nose, but I do like it. An initial impressions on this one are favorable. Yeah, that's nice. I, I can definitely get the leaves too, which normally I wouldn't like, but in this one, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna wait and use this one and see how it is when I lather it, but 
Initial impressions, I think I like it. You definitely get the apple. Like I said, it, it, it has a really, um, this uh, scent for me is very representative of fall and a sort of, if you walked outdoors and the, the leaves are blowing around in the fall, that's what this smells like to me. And it's a nice scent. I think I'm gonna like this one. So Nate, you might be right on this one. We shall see. And also we got the, uh, the Space Nog Splash. I won't open this just to save a little time, but we're, uh, we'll check all these wares out. And of course I'll bring it to you as I always do. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're having great unboxings and I hope everything is just tremendous. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.